Hey guys, Monochrome here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Genuinely good to have you. Today we're taking a look at the Pelican 1920 LED pen light. Before I go any further, I do have to point out that this is the newer version, not the older one. The older one had max output of 120 rated lumens. The newer one, which you see here, 224 rated lumens maximum output. As usual guys, specs in the description box below. Be sure to check that out when the video is over. So, newer version, definitely a lot more competitive with other LED pen lights out on the market today. You get 224 rated lumens on high, 21 rated lumens on low. This flashlight has no memory feature and it always switches on on high mode first, always. So let's take a closer look you do get a tail cap switch with a nice checkered rubberized boot. It's not too aggressive at all, but you can definitely feel it. You also have a shroud that is integral to the tail cap assembly running all the way around the tail cap switch. Now, that shroud lowers the profile of the switch itself, which is actually important on this model because this is somewhat rare. Most pen lights come with a reverse clicky tail cap switch, not this one. You get a forward clicky which means you do get momentary on as well as click for constant on. Yep, just apply a little pressure to that tail cap switch. There's the light. Little more and it clicks on. But like I said, you do have momentary on without having to click that switch. So the shroud is definitely important in preventing accidental activation. However, yeah, it's, it's a dust magnet. Yeah. Oh, well. And here on the tail cap assembly, we have two symbols. One that shows the orientation of the batteries inside the body of this two AAA flashlight. Basically nipples down and yes that is the proper term. The nipple on a battery or the positive end. So positive end down or nipple down like almost every single other flashlight ever made in the world. Yeah, there are a few, a few oddball flashlights, but this is not one of them. And over here, you have a garbage bin symbol that's crossed out. Normally, you see that on lithium batteries. Um, telling folks not to toss them in the trash. I guess on this flashlight it's saying, hey, you can put in fresh batteries and it'll work. Don't throw the flashlight away. Seems kind of weird though. Yeah. Moving on, we have this clip and it's a fully circular wrap-around clip, which means this is not likely to pop off. 
and that's a good thing. As you can see, the lip of the clip is extremely shallow. Now, what that means is when you're trying to clip it into a pocket, you might need more than one pass before it hits the seam and slips down. I normally carry my pen lights in my back pocket and with this one I consistently have to try twice before I'm able to clip it in there. Now based on the looks of this clip you might be thinking ooh that's an extremely tight clip. Actually no it's not. You get the opposite problem. This clip, I mean it sits in a pocket seam rather loosely. I mean, it doesn't shake around or anything like that, but when you've got this clipped to a pocket, it's not a tight friction fit. It's not. It's actually surprisingly loose. It's a bit hard to clip onto a pocket seam, but once it's on there, I mean, this thing slips out with no problem at all when you're reaching for it. I will say I've never had it fall out of a pocket, but because I carry it in my back pocket, there have been times I've stood up and this light was a little bit further up from the pocket seam than it should have been. But thankfully, it's never fallen out of my pocket. So I guess this clip is good enough. Okay, I guess that's fair. Now, as you can see, the body or barrel of the light has five flats. There's some flats on the tail cap, some flats on the bezel, and these flats, well, they're not really the best as an anti-roll feature. Quite frankly, if this clip wasn't here, this light would roll away. But they do help with grip in the hand, which is a little surprising. But, but yeah, they definitely help with maintaining a good, solid grip on the light. Would I have preferred more traditional grooves or checkering yes but these flats work decently well further down we have the bezel there's the smooth reflector now the beam pattern that this light puts out is a little unusual yes you do have a central hot spot but it is a very wide hot spot. And beyond the hot spot, there's not much spill, although you don't really need it because the hot spot itself is surprisingly wide. And yeah, definitely good enough. So that's the only thing regarding the beam pattern. Mm -hmm. Nice smooth reflector. And if you need to swap out the batteries, yeah, you just unscrew the tail cap section here. Um, try to make sure it doesn't roll away onto your lap. Sorry about that, guys. The threads are well cut and as you can see, decently oiled. Now, my particular 1920 came with batteries included. That's right, batteries included. Yeah. Welcome to the 21st century. And this flashlight is rated for use with alkalines only. Yep, alkalines only, rated by Pelican. However, 
I have used two AAA rechargeable batteries. So yeah, if you have a nice collection of Eneloops or any other type of rechargeable AAA batteries, you can use them. It works. I just happen to have primaries in mine right now. So I've been EDCing this guy for several weeks upon weeks. Um, how do I like it? I like it a lot. I mean, if you're someone who's looking for a LED pen light with a forward clicky tail cap switch, this is probably your best option out there. Solid construction and Pelican is an American-based company. This particular light is made in China, but Pelican is an American-based company. Anything I'd change? Um, I do wish the clip was a little easier to clip onto a pocket seam, and once it's on there, I do wish that the retention was a bit tighter. But, like I said, this light has never fallen out of a pocket, never slipped out of a pocket by accident, so I can't really complain too much. That's the only negative. So if you're looking for a LED pen light with a good amount of output, and you want something that switches on in high mode first along with a forward clicky tail cap switch this is your pen light right here is it a good pen light overall yes but if a reverse clicky switch is a must for you you're gonna want to look elsewhere but this does get a conditional recommendation from me. If you want high mode switching on first, if you want a forward clicky tail cap switch, yep, yep, this is your light. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please continue to stay safe out there. I'll see you soon. Have a good one.